Baking powder is a dry chemical leavening agent, a mixture of a carbonate or bicarbonate and a weak acid, and is used for increasing the volume and lightening the texture of baked goods. Baking powder works by releasing carbon dioxide gas into a batter or dough through an acid-base reaction, causing bubbles in the wet mixture to expand and thus leavening the mixture. It is used instead of yeast for end products where fermentation flavors would be undesirable or where the batter lacks the elastic structure to hold gas bubbles for more than a few minutes, or for convenience. Because carbon dioxide is released at a faster rate through the acid-base reaction than through fermentation, breads made by chemical leavening are called quick breads. Formulation and mechanism most commercially available baking powders are made up of sodium bicarbonate and one or more acid salts. Typical formulations call for 30% sodium bicarbonate, 5 to 12% monocalcium phosphate, and 21 to 26% sodium aluminium sulfate. The last two ingredients are acidic, they combine with the sodium bicarbonate and water to produce the gaseous carbon dioxide. The use of two acidic components is the basis of the term double acting. A classical acid that is also common is cream of tartar, a derivative of tartaric acid. Baking powders also include components to help with the consistency and stability of the mixture. Commercial baking powders are formulated differently than domestic ones, although the principles remain the same. Instead of sodium aluminium sulfate, Commercial baking powders use sodium acid pyrophosphate as one of the two acidic components. Baking soda is the source of the carbon dioxide, and the acid-base reaction can be generically represented as shown, NaHCO3 plus H plus Nr plus plus CO2 plus H2O, the real reactions are more complicated because the acids are complicated. For example starting baking soda and monocalcium phosphate is proposed to react to produce carbon dioxide by this stoichiometry, 14 NaHCO3 plus 5 Car, H2PO4, 2 hours 2 OA 14 CO2 plus Car 5, PO4, 3 OH plus 7 Na 2 HPO4 plus 18 hours 2 O, starch component, baking powders also include components to improve their consistency and stability. The most important additive is corn starch, although potato starch may also be used. The inert starch serves several functions in baking powder. Primarily it is used to absorb moisture, and thus prolong shelf life by keeping the powders alkaline and acidic components dry so as not to react with each other prematurely. A dry powder also flows and mixes more easily. Finally, the added bulk allows for more accurate measurements. Single versus double acting baking powders, the acid in a baking powder can be either fast acting or slow acting. A fast acting acid reacts in a wet mixture with baking soda at room temperature, and a slow acting acid will not react until heated in an oven. Baking powders that contain both fast and slow acting acids are double acting. Those that contain only one acid are single acting. By providing a second rise in the oven, Double-acting baking powders increase the reliability of baked goods by rendering the time elapsed between mixing and baking less critical, and this is the type most widely available to consumers today. Double-acting baking powders work in two phases, once when cold, and once when hot. Common low-temperature acid salts include cream of tartar and monocalcium phosphate. High-temperature acid salts include sodium aluminium sulfate sodium aluminum phosphate, and sodium acid pyrophosphate. Rumford baking powder is a double-acting consumer product that contains only monocalcium phosphate as a leavening acid. With this acid, about two-thirds of the available gas is released within about two minutes of mixing at room temperature. It then becomes dormant because an intermediate form of decalcium phosphate is generated during the initial mixing. Further release of gas requires the batter to be heated above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. History Early chemical leavening was accomplished by activating baking soda in the presence of liquid, S, and an acid such as sour milk, vinegar, lemon juice, or cream of tartar. These acidulants all react with baking soda quickly, meaning that retention of gas bubbles was dependent on batter viscosity and that it was critical for the batter to be baked before the gas escaped. 
the development of baking powder created a system where the gas-producing reactions could be delayed until needed. While various baking powders were sold in the first half of the 19th century, our modern variants were discovered by Alfred Byrd in 1843. August Oetker, a German pharmacist, made baking powder very popular when he began selling his mixture to housewives. The recipe he created in 1891 is still sold as Bakken in Germany. Oetker started the mass production of baking powder in 1898 and patented his technique in 1903. In the U.S., Joseph and Cornelius Hogan developed a baking powder with the help of an employee following the American Civil War. Their formula became known as Royal Baking Powder. The small company eventually moved from Fort Wayne, Indiana to New York in the 1890s and became the largest manufacturer of baking powder in the U.S. Eben Norton Hosford, a student of Justice von Liebig, who began his studies on baking powder in 1856, eventually developed a variety he named in honor of Count Mumford. By the mid-1860s Hosford's yeast powder was on the market as an already mixed leavening agent, distinct from separate packages of calcium acid phosphate and sodium bicarbonate. His product was packaged in bottles, but Hosford was interested in using metal cans for packing. This meant the mixture had to be more moisture-resistant. This was accomplished by the addition of corn starch, and in 1869 Rumford began the manufacture of what can truly be considered baking powder. In 2006 Rumford baking powder was designated a National Historic Chemical Landmark in recognition of its significance for making baking easier, quicker, and more reliable. During World War II, Byron H. Smith, an inventor in Bangor, Maine, created a substitute product for American housewives, who were unable to obtain cream of tartar or baking powder due to war food shortages. Under the name Bakewell, Smith marketed a mixture of sodium pyrophosphate mixed with corn starch to replace the acid cream of tartar component of baking powder. When mixed with baking soda, the product behaved like a single acting baking powder, the only difference being that the acid is sodium acid pyrophosphate. Use Generally one teaspoon of baking powder is used to raise a mixture of one cup of flour, one cup of liquid, and one egg. However, if the mixture is acidic, baking powder's additional acids will remain unconsumed in the chemical reaction and often lend an unpleasant taste to food. High acidity can be caused by ingredients like buttermilk, lemon juice, yogurt, citrus or honey. When excessive acid is present, some of the baking powder should be replaced with baking soda. For example, one cup of flour, one egg, and one cup of buttermilk requires only a one-half teaspoon of baking powder a euro. The remaining leavening is caused by buttermilk acids reacting with a one-quarter teaspoon of baking soda. On the other hand, if baking powders that contain sodium acid pyrophosphate, excess alkaline substances can sometimes deprotonate the acid in two steps instead of the one that normally occurs, resulting in an offensive bitter taste to baked goods. Calcium compounds and aluminium compounds do not have that problem though, since calcium compounds that deprotonate twice are insoluble and aluminium compounds do not deprotonate in that fashion. Moisture and heat can cause baking powder to lose its effectiveness over time, and commercial varieties have a somewhat arbitrary expiration date printed on the container. Regardless of the expiration date, the effectiveness can be tested by placing a teaspoon of the powder into a small container of hot water. If it bubbles energetically, it is still active and usable. Substituting in recipes, substitute acids, as described above, baking powder is mainly just baking soda mixed with an acid. In principle, a number of kitchen acids may be combined with baking soda to simulate commercial baking powders. Vinegar, especially white vinegar, is also a common acidifier in baking. For example, many heirloom chocolate cake recipes call for a tablespoon or two of vinegar. Where a recipe already uses buttermilk or yogurt, baking soda can be used without cream of tartar. Alternatively, lemon juice can be substituted for some of the liquid in the recipe to provide the required acidity to activate the baking soda. The main variable with the use of these kitchen acids is the rate of leavening. Substitutes for baking soda, in times past, when chemically manufactured baking soda was not available, 
ash water was used instead. Ashes from hardwood trees contain carbonates and bicarbonate salts, which can be extracted with water. This approach became obsolete with the availability of purified baking soda. Usage of aluminium compounds, baking powders are available both with and without aluminium compounds. Some people prefer not to use baking powder with aluminium because they believe it gives food a vaguely metallic taste and aluminium is not an essential mineral. Others object because of possible health concerns associated with aluminum intake. See also, Bakewell Cream, Calumet Baking Powder Company, Club Girl Driver Wetka, Irish Soda Bread, References. External links, Magic Powder, All About Baking Powder, Cook's Thesaurus, Leavens descriptions of various chemical leavening agents and substitutions. Baking powder contains list of aluminum-free baking powders available in the U.S.